What's up guys? That's here and today for Warcraft Wednesday we're gonna be running what is this place called? We're gonna be running Skyreach. I'm leveling up my Rep Paladin in Warlords of Draenor and yeah I just don't have a video for today's Warcraft Wednesday and I figured I might as well just upload a cool battle of me doing a five man. This is a level 99 Rep Paladin. I've had it for a while and normally I normally do Hearthstone videos for Warcraft Wednesday but uh, since I got this little email that said I got seven days free of World of Warcraft, I'm like, yeah, I'm all about that. And so I decided to play for seven days or at least like activate the seven day free trial thing. And yeah, it's like a game that I really like playing. I mean, it is called Warcraft Wednesday. It's about games in the Warcraft series. So I figured, you know, might as well play some World of Warcraft. And it's been a while since I've played Warlords of Draenor, so, uh, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I, I really enjoy most of the lore, and, uh, you know, the, this game's just a lot of fun, so I figured I might as well just upload a video of me playing a five-man, talking about the lore, going over the bosses, and, uh, yeah, just have a pretty good time. So, this, uh, this dungeon, I've played it a couple times, it's called Skyreach. I've been targeting a solar destination. Hold on, I gotta get away from my, my besties, and I'm gonna explode or something. All right, let's... There we go. So this dungeon is Skyreach. Open the dungeon journal, and we can see it has four bosses: Rajit, this little Arknath, Rukron, and High Sage Virix. So me we'll talking about each of those right before we get to them. I really like the Arakoa. That's the bird race that this is all pretty much about. So this, I think, this is a pretty cool dungeon. It reminds me a lot of the dungeon in Cataclysm. What is that one called? Oh my gosh, the Valley of like Knots. That's, that's Panda. Uh, there's something, something four wins. We're gonna find out what it's called. Uh, well, what's of train or Kata? It reminds me of the Vortex Pinnacle because there's a lot of uh, little things that have to do with. Uh... Oh, they're just gonna start the boss without me, aren't they? they these guys don't even want to hear about the stuff. All right, so this boss, uh, Rajit, he's pretty much uh, the first boss in. He's like the most standard version of like a first boss of any dungeon. He's pretty much the defender of the gates of whatever this place called Skyreach. Pretty much the defender of Skyreach, and uh, you will sacrifice his life to defend Skyreach from any intruders. This guy creates like little vortex walls. I don't really want to get hit by those. So as the fight goes on, you're gonna see a lot of them spawn, and it's kind of dangerous having this guy fight in the corner because like ah, ah, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. All right, so just gotta avoid all these. And we are totally nuking this guy. Wow, he is taking that big damage. How am I on top DPS? This is ridiculous. It's like, I haven't done anything. Anyways, we're doing pretty good DPS on this guy. And, uh, yeah, he's just a standard, you know, first boss. I don't want to talk about the Vortex Pinnacle anymore. I want to talk about Panda. Or, or what not Panda. What dungeon are we in? Warlords of Draenor. Skyreach. Cannot outrun the wind. All right. What is this, Pocahontas? I'm like trapped. I'm cut off from the group. Eventually, this wind all goes away. I can still like hammer wrath him and stuff. All right, that's gone. There we go. Okay, let's finish this up. This is his model. Note that like they can kind of fly again. I think that's because like Gul'dan gave them uh their powers back, like when you promised them, uh, you've like promised to give them their powers back, so normally like Arakoa, uh can't fly anymore from what I would normally know. So tell us something about that first boss, I didn't really get a chance to uh, talk that much about it because this group is super crazy, going way too fast. I guess most of these people are kind of geared, so, well I mean geared enough. Geared enough to do this five man. Oh man, talk about being geared. So for those of you that don't know anything about World of Warcraft, I'm playing a paladin. It's pretty much a healer DPS tank class. I'm just playing as DPS right now. And uh, yeah, I pretty much have a rotation where I use these first three buttons right here. And uh, after I use those three buttons, I can use this fourth button and I do a bunch of damage. So, and there's a bunch of other cooldowns and stuff I can do. We're right about to fight the second boss. This thing, it lays a dot that explodes. It's pretty much the uh, defense mechanism that's being uh, 
watched over by uh, this guy. Being watched over by... what's his name? Skyreach Archaeologist or whatever. And yeah, so pretty much this thing's defense mechanism. It's got to put a stop to it. And I think it's all... everything in here is like powered by like super solar energy. So that's kind of cool too. It's something that, unless you like played this dungeon, you probably wouldn't have really expected from the Arakoa because they have like their bird gods and stuff like that, not like sun gods. There's his little pop thing. Just gotta do that DPS. This is more of what I expected from the DPS meter from these guys. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone just got like really lucky or popped like the correct cooldowns in the last one. Oh, I thought he was gonna activate his little thing. There it is. That's the damage. Okay. He's almost getting the hammer of what is this? Hammer of Wrath. Once they have a little, like 30 or something percent, I can use Hammer of Wrath and it just does a good chunk of damage. So that's also pretty cool. And we're about to grind this guy out. He's almost Dunsies. That's a big pop. We have a pretty good healer for this group, though. Good stuff, good stuff. But overall, like I said, this guy's a defense mechanism of the whatever place we're in. Ooh, I got some boots. I think I already have good boots, though. I have these. I have boots that are pretty much just like this one. But he's got some fat loots. That's pretty cool. Let us go on to the next part of the five man. Yeah, this place totally reminds me of Valley of the Four Winds. You guys are going to see, not Valley of the Four Winds, I keep on messing that up. Vortex Pinnacle, Vortex Pinnacle. It had all those tornadoes and like air things. And this is so similar. I mean, the first time I played it, I mean, you're also like high above in like the clouds. That's another reason why. And I remember like back when Vortex Pinnacle came out, oh man, like it used to be such a hard grind. That's like back before like they nerfed all the heroics and stuff. I mean, they've nerfed stuff like a million times, but I remember the very first version of Vortex Pinnacle was pretty difficult compared to what they changed it to. Like it was to the point, it was it was almost like older WoW, like where you had to like CC like each mob and stuff like that. Now you can pretty much just like, I'm just gonna hit this with my face and not die ever. I mean, it's still fun, but like we can just pull like everything without like targeting anything or talking about what we're gonna do first. Alright, so we're right about to fight this next boss, Rukron. It's right here. And this thing is like the son of one of their gods. It's pretty cool. Everything is more solar power, and that's something you wouldn't really expect. But uh, he spawns these things, these solar flares, and we gotta take out these solar flares. Otherwise they all pop and we all like get wrecked. So just gotta watch out for that on this next fight. I think it's a pretty cool fight, and I think this guy actually like pats around the stairs of Ariac. I think that's what that place is called. But anyways, he pats around one of the zones in Draenor, I think. I mean, I could have swore I've seen him on my mini-map. I mean, don't, don't take my word for it, but kind of like how Deathwing did in uh, Twilight Highlands in Kata. Either way, pretty cool boss, and it's really cool to see him in this dungeon. Last little bit of trash, and we'll start it up. So one thing you know, remember, we got to pick up these mobs and just take them out. I think this fight actually looks like really cool too. I feel like we got to tank them near the edge here. I mean, that looks so cool. So I want to get like as much burst in as I can before I have to go like off any of the other things. It's almost to the point where he's going to be spawning those solar flares. There's one over there. I'm going to go get that off like the healer or something. I don't want to be around him when they explode. Not going to lie, this group, we could probably just nuke the boss down. But, uh... I'll just play it correctly. Just don't want these exploiting on like the whole group, because that's not good. 
And it's also kind of funny. Not funny, but like when he dies, we'll see what happens. Right, I'm not going to get that last sword flare. We can just finish this from here. Alright, so when he dies... Bye! Rip. Alright, let's see if I can eat fat loots. Nope. Three gold, I'll take it. Alright, so this is why this place reminds me of the Vortex Pinnacle. All this wind stuff. I don't want to get blown off here. These little birds are like attacking me and stuff. So it's not the... I don't know, I think... This could be harder. Like, imagine if these birds, like, chunked you and you had to, like, change it up. I got a speed boost. That's cool. Don't want to go too far to the right, too far to the left. Otherwise, you'll get caught in, like, a super vortex. Just got to ah, go the right way. Don't want to get pulled too far to the left. Yeah, it, sh it should be pretty easy, but it just, like, takes a little while. It's not like it's hard. But it was, uh, it was like, kind of cool seeing it for the first time. All right, everyone should be ready to go. Alright, so this thing, this actually matters the order that we take stuff out, I think. Gotta nuke one of these guys, because, like, the, yeah, it starts to, like, chunk. supposed to hit this guy but it doesn't really matter doesn't matter we have too much EPS we lost somebody note that we lost somebody we didn't hit the right person so we're gonna res this guy let's see if I can get the res off first nope sad face can't even help Alright, so we're about to tank up these last couple of sets. Tank that thing, and then we have the last boss. The last boss is High Sage Virix. It's dedicated to her rule wholly to harnessing Apexus artifacts in service of Rookmar's will. So another thing that has to do with the sun, there's a lot of fire, there's a lot of adds. And it sh it's just a cool fight. We should just have enough DPS to like burst it down, though. Oh shit, I'm dying. No thanks. That was my fault. Okay. Yeah, high stage Virix. Looks pretty cool. Somebody just dinged? Did someone, uh. Someone just dinged 100. So when they dinged 100. Tell him grats, because that's how WoW works. Give him that grats. So someone's 100, that's awesome. I'm probably going to hit 100 today, I think. Alright, we got we got 100 on this trash mob. Oh man, good stuff. We got to go this way. I don't know why we all went back for a sec. Awesome. It'd be funny that I get 100 and just like wipe. First thing I did when I got 100 was I wiped on trash. <laughs> Who dinged 100? Is that the person that white like died earlier? That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. It's the person that died earlier. Maybe their tunnel was too real. There's the boss over there, though. High Sage Virix. Uh, we should tank her kind of right in the same area that we're fighting right now, but sometimes people don't. Like, if you tank, she, ha she has, like, a kind of mechanic, kind of like the Lich King with the Valkyrs, where you kind of try to pick up. It picks up people and tries to walk them off over the edge. So we got to nuke those adds when they come. Also, she spawns other adds that make, like, protect her, so you got to take those out. All right, so same as before, I want to get as much DPS as possible while I can. Oh yeah, there's that thing. Yeah, it looks like 
There we go. This guy nuked those things. Uh, it was funny, I was doing this dungeon like two hours ago, and so we KO'd the boss. The boss was dead, and one of those things just spawned, picked me up, and all my teammates just watched me die as I went and got like taken away. So that kind of sucked. Alright, let's continue the nuking of the boss. So wait until another one of those ads spawn. We'll go pull people off that. It's kind of funny, like, we could just wait until they're, like, all the way over there. <laughs> Don't stand in the fire. All right, we're down to the percent where I can start using Hammer of Wrath. So that means things are going to start going a lot faster, at least for my DPS. All right. This is the reason why you want to take this near the front, because they pick up someone right there. They don't have very far to go. And they picked up, like, our healer, so, like, kinda need to keep that person. Oh my gosh, right then. Oh, no thank you, I don't want to stand in that. Notice how, like, she's pretty much invincible, though, like, while the servants are there? And I can't really get that close. That's fine. I have a couple long-range moves, I guess. Well, I'm gonna die. The boss at one percent. Nah. Thank you, team. See, like these things don't despawn. Oh, they did. All right, whatever. It despawned that time. Well, we did it. We did it. What is this? All right. I would like to go over there and loot it, but I do not want to die. Anyways, yeah, someone got hundred here. That's pretty cool. I want to see if I get any fat loots. No. No fat loots. Anyways, guys, that is Skyreach 5, man. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play some World of Warcraft, learning a little bit more about the Arakoa. If you guys like these type of videos, tune in every Wednesday. Next week might be World of Warcraft. Next week might be Hearthstone. I don't really know. Might even be Heroes of the Storm. So thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.